everybody and welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning into the episode. In today's video, I just wanted to share with you what went on on my little shopping adventure. So I've never been inside a Petco before and that was a really fun shopping trip. If you have a love for the aquarium hobby, they have all kinds of fun stuff there. And it was a really fun experience. They have their dollar per gallon sale going on right now. And they didn't have, I was looking for a 20 long and they didn't have it in and I'm going to try to catch it on their next shipment in. So let me go ahead and share with you what I picked up. I do have a couple new alive additions to the fish room. So let's get started. Many of you are going to recognize this substrate right here. This is the Fluval Stratum. This is what the bag looks like right here. It is 8.8 .8 pounds. And this is a volcanic soil. So it's organic and going to be very rich in minerals. And anything organic is going to aid and add with your nitrogen in your tank. And that's going to promote your plant growth like it says right here. And this also buffers the pH a little bit, making it more acidic, lower on the pH scale. And my guppies enjoy harder water, a little bit higher on the pH scale. So I'm only going to add a little bit. I'm going to start off with about a cup and add more if I think I need to. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And this does help with shrimp. And I'm currently housing ghost shrimp in my guppy tanks. And this is what it looks like right here. I did also pick up some of these tabs for my other plants. They're getting a little bit lighter green yellowish. So this aids with micro elements, trace elements, and other nutrients. And I'm lo looking to add some more nitrogen to my tanks. I did pick up these first bites for the guppy fry. They had two, so I picked up two. It's a really, really fine, fine flake food, so it makes it really easy for them to eat. I did also pick up these bug bites. It's an insect larva and salmon recipe. This is what it looks like. It's a really, really small, fine food. And the guppies went crazy for this, so I'm glad I picked it up. But let's go ahead and get started, and I will show you the fun part, the exciting part, all the new live additions. This is a new live plant that I did pick up from Petco. It's called Water Wisteria. It's supposed to be very good for beginners, which I would still classify myself as a beginner to this hobby. It's not supposed to require any CO2, but if you do provide it along with better lighting, it can grow very tall and wide. It does have a pH need of 6.5 to 7.5. It likes 75 degrees to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, which is within the parameters of my guppy tanks. So I'm hoping this one does survive and does well. The next couple additions I wanted to share with you, I did not get at Petco. We made a pit stop along the interstate and found a relatively small little pet store that had a little bit of everything. And they had two of these Amano shrimps. And they can get a couple inches in size. They're a little bit larger than the ghost shrimp that I have. And these guys don't have claws like the ghost shrimp do. And you can tell the males from the females by the dashes and dots along the side. And they do like 72 to about 78 degrees Fahrenheit. These are supposed to be one of the easiest hard water shrimp. They do enjoy a pH anywhere between 6.5 to 7.5. And they can live two to three years. They are very good algae eaters, and that is why I wanted to give them a shot. You just don't want to completely rely on the algae in your tank. You do want to feed them. And these shrimp are notoriously hard to breed. The females will lay eggs, and the larva does require more of a brackish water. 
This is something that I've always wanted to be able to keep, but never been able to find. This is an albino bristlenose pleco. They are really good scavengers. They feed on the algae along the side of the glass, along the bottom. They do feed on dead organic matter, but you do want to feed them. You don't want to strictly rely on this. They do grow about four to five inches, this particular species. But the regular bristlenose pleco can grow pretty large, so make sure that you have enough tank size to be able to support that growth. They do enjoy driftwood. That helps with their digestive tract. And I have noticed that my regular plecos are more active at night. They do come out during the day a little bit, but they are more active at night. So I'm curious about this one, how this one does. And as these guys mature and age, the males will develop a really bristled nose. They do well from about 72 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit with a pH anywhere from 5.8 all the way up to 8.0. I did go ahead and pick up two small pieces of driftwood for the plecos. I personally soak these for a couple of days because the tannins will Discolor your water. This isn't necessarily bad for your aquariums. It can, I've been told, actually lower the pH a little bit. But I personally want to keep my aquariums and everything the same. So I do go ahead and let these soak for a couple of days. What I'm planning for these Amano shrimp is I'm going to put them in this aquarium. It is a 10-gallon aquarium. This is the one that I have that is really difficult to see. I'm planning on taking a razor blade actually on my next water change. I'm gonna drop this water down pretty low and see if that helps. But I have about three ghost shrimp in this tank that hang out in, the, in between these rocks right here. I do have a pleco in here somewhere also, but I wanna take these ghost shrimp out and put these Amano shrimp in. They won't crossbreed or anything, but since these two are way better algae eaters than the ghost shrimp are, I'm going to, as you can see, I do have a lot of algae. I wanna go ahead and try to swap these out and put these three in with my guppies in another one that the ghost shrimp are doing really well in. So this is how I'm going to do this. And how I'm acclimating them is I'm floating them to get them to the correct temperature. And then I'm just gradually going to add more and more of my water, probably for about an hour or so to this bag and then let them loose. I wish this was a little bit better so you could see but I'll try to include a little bit of footage of how this goes. For my water wisteria, what I decided to do is I'm going to float this for a couple of weeks to a month or so. What will happen is the roots will kind of extend down and I believe it kind of prunes itself back and regrows whenever it's fully acclimated to this tank. This is that, again, that hard to see 10 gallon tank and I am going to add I believe it's one tab every four to six inches but I'm going to put one in each of my tanks so if you guys have any advice and had any luck with these please leave it in the comments below. As for my albino bristlenose pleco, I did go ahead and decide to put this one in the 10 gallon aquarium I recently set up. I didn't want to put this one in the other 10 gallon aquarium with my other pleco just because I wanted to give them both some time to grow and mature. And then when this one does grow a little bit larger, I will go ahead and put this one in my 30 gallon aquarium that I'm hoping to set up soon. And to give you a little update on the mystery plant that I'm still kind of unsure what it is, I'm going to go ahead and put some tabs in here and see if that helps it grow a little bit and mature. And I did go ahead and put those two wild guppies, I have a male and a female, that snuck into the bag when I got my ghost shrimp. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. This shopping trip for the fish room was spur of the moment and it was a couple of hours away, but it was really fun to get to go for the first time. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of footage of my acclimation process and me releasing them into their new tank. So don't forget to hit the like button, share, leave a comment if you have any experience with these new plants or these new species of fish. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for all updates coming in the future. And thank you again so much for watching. Enjoy!